guys, it's Queen Lizzie G. Welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. How are all of you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. So for today's video, since I figured my last one was about makeup and just following the trend that every YouTuber was doing pretty much, I figured today would be a good day for story time, which will be in two parts. Yes, two parts because this whole story time will be way too long for one video, so made it easier and you guys made two parts. Anyways. The story time is my experience at the Bend Acapella Festival in Oregon and meeting Deke Sharon. And yes, I do mean THE Deke Sharon, if you guys don't know, who produced Pitch Perfect 1, 2, and 3 and is known as the, and is known as the father of modern acapella. Yes, that is true. It's on Wikipedia. I read it. So, yeah. Just want to know more about him. Anyways, what can I say about the experience? Well. It was really cool, honestly, getting to be with my with my little Echo family. It's the name of my group, my school. My Echo family and just my choir teacher as well, and getting to perform and, and have a good time and hang out in Oregon. And honestly guys, Oregon is beautiful. It's crazy to think that God made all of that and just allowed me to be in that presence. But anyways, rambling on about random stuff. Uh, the experience was great. Like I said, it was cool and it was of course, a lot of hard work, exhausting, but all in all, it was really fun. And if I was still in high school and wasn't going off to college and everything, I would for sure do it again. No question. It literally was so fun, you guys. It felt like I was in Pitch Perfect. No joke. It felt that awesome. <laughs> and it was just... I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. But, I mean, it was cool. Like, even though our group didn't win, which is kind of disappointing, but... In a way, it kind of makes sense. Our group literally only had nine people, and the other groups that were competing against us had, like, way, way more. I mean, the group that went before us had a lot of people in their group, so. But, yeah, I mean, it was, it was great, fun, dare I say, I'm sorry. We're going to be on topic. Um, I mean, yes, these kind of experiences can be fun and whatnot, whatever, but let me tell you about the process of the whole thing. So, it was on Thursday, February, February, I almost forgot the date, February 8th that we left. And yes, this trip was from February 9th, 9th, excuse me, it's been murdered, 9th through the 11th. And so it was Friday to Sunday. And I was sad the last day we had to go because I wanted to stay in Oregon, but you know, have to get back to school and finish, whatever. But either way, it was cool. But. Yeah, it was from 9th to 11th, and on Thursday, like I said, Thursday is the day we left because we had to go to LAX, and from there, we would go to Portland, Portland, Oregon, and then from there, we eventually made it to Bend, Oregon, which was a long time, but it was worth it and fun. On Thursday, I stayed, I stayed at my choir teacher's house, whose name I will not disclose because that would not be a good idea. I stayed at her house in Orange, which is very far, very, very far. And by 2.45 in the morning, yes, 2.45 in the morning, I'm not exaggerating that fact at all, we left to go to LAX airport because we had gone there like 3, 3 a.m., whenever it was, and our flight was at 7 a.m. <laughs> joy. Oh, yeah, joy. I say that with sarcasm because I hate boring, but oh well, whatever. We got to the LAX, and then we eventually took our first flight, and that was to Portland. And that was that was pretty cool, great experience, and everything. Just the rush of oh my goodness, guys, this process of getting to the airport and to Ben, and oh yo, it was stressful. And it was ironic because on the Friday that we got into Bend, we were almost gonna do a radio interview. I know, real ironic got off plane flying all that stuff do a radio interview we were so close to doing it with acaville.org or com whatever their website is nice people luckily we did not do it on friday because that would have been very difficult so instead we decided to do it on saturday which is the day of the competition that i was in and that experience was cool as well honestly like i never thought like being on the radio and like getting to talk about like our group and stuff like that would be a not like a surreal experience but like a but an experience i'll truly remember forever because i mean those kind of experiences are the best experiences you can have in your lifetime 
and that's a true fact it was cool and luckily it was like it wasn't like obviously like it wasn't like live where you could like see our faces and stuff like how um, I don't know what radio station or not radio stations or some stations like extra TV and stuff like that like how they do it it was an audio radio thing which was good but I mean in a way it's kind of nerve-wracking too I was nervous in answering question but it was cool and and of course they are also the Acaville the dot org the website place or not website place I'm sorry the website we had the radio interview with they were the ones live streaming the competition was taking place on Saturday and of course you hear the audio and everything not the faces but the audio and that was that was awesome too you know and uh, I mean but the experience there like it took forever and then I literally had to like have Starbucks and all that stuff to keep me awake I was so exhausted I was like oh boy and actually there's a picture right here of us at one of the oops sorry guys I have to pull up my just one second sorry about that Okay, here we go. I found it. Found it. Okay. So this was us at the, I believe it was. We should have put it there. Oh, it was the second air? Okay, this. Okay. Or first or second, whatever airport this is. Either way, a Roman airport. So I have to say, this was us. There you can see that. This was us on the way over there. You guys look lovely. I'm so tired. This is and that was, we were getting on what was called a puddle jumper, which is a pretty cool plane, honestly. I mean, it's not really scary. Of course, you know, the flight's super short, but awesome. So that's getting there. And that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And just, I think personally, like, I mean, even being, no, not being asked, I'm sorry, because I, I was about to say, oh, like, we got asked to perform. No. Our car teacher was the one who found out about this competition and was like, oh, hey, like, guys, why don't we just go down to Bend, Oregon and do this competition? And we're like, sure, why not? And the, when I found out Deke Sharon was hosting, was hosting it, I was like, I was excited. I was like, oh my gosh, Deke Sharon, who produced Paid for One, Two, Three, and everything. Oh, he's hosting it. I can't, I can't. Oh my goodness, it was incredible. And by the way, about Deke Sharon, the experience of me and Deke Sharon, super, super nice guy. I'm not gonna lie and say he wasn't nice. He really was. Super tall, too, honestly. I think he was taller than me. Like, because when I'd look up and I'd be like, oh my gosh. It was crazy, honestly. Super tall, nice guy, and overall, he wasn't. He's not like. In terms of his, like, criticism. Or not criticism. His, like. Or help. Like, okay, no. Constructive criticism. That's what I'm trying to say. His constructive criticism thing. He wasn't very rude at all. He was just trying to help fix us, get us where we need to be and all that. Which was so nice and I appreciate that. And luckily he knows how to do it in a way that makes everybody happy. Most people when they give constructive criticism, they are they tend to be pretty rude about it. Which is what I don't like about most people. But, you know, come, comes and goes. But meeting him was awesome and before, on the night of the competition, before we were about to go on, like we went backstage and... We saw him, we saw him backstage with us, and he was, the group that went before us was performing Sing My Pentatonix, which is ironic, because literally my junior year of high school last year, my god, when I say it, it makes me feel so old, my god, anyways, like last year, in my expression show, we did it, we did, well, zero period, because I was in zero period, our zero period, we did that song, we performed it was funny, and no, they were doing it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious, we were dancing, you know, have a good time. Because they were good. The group performance was good. I'm not saying that they were bad or anything. They were pretty good. We were like, hey, I don't know what you've been told, but... It was great. And Deke Sharon was dancing with us. It was so fun. It was awesome. And it was really cool, honestly. And the fact that we got to... Got to, ha like, have some fun with him before we performed all that. And he... Honestly, I could tell that he really... Not... Lo I mean, lo loved us. He liked us, which was good. But, you know... Sometimes people have their favorites, and I'm not saying he did, but if he did, that's totally fair. I get that, but you know. Come and go, come and go. And oh, I also forgot to mention too. I forgot you guys. I forgot to mention when we were on the way, like to Bend, Oregon. Literally, Deke Sharon was on our flight 
Yeah, he was on our flight, the pole jumper thing, and we didn't even know about it. And we, because when we got to the airport, whatever, we were walking, getting our bags, we literally saw him from the revolving, or no, it wasn't like a revolving door, it was like one of those uh, revolving type doors where, like, where you walk in, and it like, closes you in, it goes like, mm, and if someone knows what I'm talking about, then I appreciate you. But it's like one of those kind of doors. And we literally saw him walk in, just like looking for his bag, whatever. And of course, meeting with the director or lady or whatever you call it of the whole Ben Nakavella festival we were in. Like talking to her and like saying, like, we're glad you're here and all that. We were like in shock. We're like, oh my gosh, like he was on our flight. We didn't know what. It was so crazy, you guys. Like, honestly, I told my mom and oh my God, it was, cr it was awesome. It was so awesome to think he was on our flight. We saw him there. We literally saw him before we were even gonna be in the competition and all that. Because the competition was on Saturday, and it was literally Friday when we got to Oregon. How funny is that? How funny is that? And the food in Oregon was great. We went, ate at this place called J-Dub. And I have the black sticker from there, and it's on the back of my iPad, of course, which is what I'm filming on right now. Because I don't have a decent camera on my YouTube channel. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, it was really good, everything, and we were like very, very hungry, and because you know we've been on planes for hours, all that stuff, and it was just, ugh, it was a mess. Boy, and I mean, like the people were nice in Oregon, which was cool, and although you know the experience, like I said, is exhausting, all that, and I mean anything with choir, it really is exhausting. If you think about it, it was really, it was really cool to think that we got to. Not only perform, because, okay, the set list we performed, this was it. It was, I almost forgot the set, oh my god. It was Run To You by Pentatonix, which was honestly a fun song to do. And so was Aha, because we did that too. It was Run To You by Pentatonix, Eine Kleine Nach Musik. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, then I that's good for you, because I didn't even, I barely knew the song until we started learning it, so, oh. And it was, yeah, I'm kind of music. And then it was, like I said, Aha by Pentatonix. And those two we combined together, like, you know, how they, how Becca did in, like, Pitch Perfect, one, two, and all that. I mean, that, like, kind of idea. And it was really cool to perform and all that. It was fun. The experience was great. And, of course, for the part two video, I will talk more about my experience because this is just the jits of it. I have way more, much more to say, but my mind isn't going a different place, you guys. I apologize. And of course, I will also talk about in part two how, how now of course the experience was more and how meeting Peter Hollins was too, because he was there as well. If you guys don't know who Peter Hollins is, then come on. I'm just kidding. No, you should really check him out on YouTube. He's a great guy. And yeah, we're, I'll talk about him in part two, because I'm sure he would love to hear that. And yeah, I mean... I'm sorry guys, I'm just blanking now, I'm sorry. No, just the gist, it's easier for me to do part one and two of these videos, so that way I don't have to like squish all in one, but yeah, this is the gist of my experience in Bend, and the pictures we took were nice, and yeah, the pictures we took were nice, and the whole festival was awesome, and oh, I almost forgot to mention completely, the not only did we get to do like radio envy and stuff like that, of course I'll mention more of that in part two, unless they already... Well, yeah, I kind of did. Never mind. JK, scratch that. Uh, this group called the House Jacks, I forgot to mention them. They performed on Friday. They were pretty good, honestly. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, it was, I don't know. I'm not saying it was bad or anything, but, you know, it was kind of like a dragon. We would have totally stayed to watch the entire show. Like, no offense to the House Jacks or anything. Like, I'm, we're not trying to be rude to you guys at all. It's just we really had to practice. Like practice, practice, practice in order to get our set like down, like ready to go. And all of us were sick, which wasn't fun. And of course, I was sick too. And I'm kind of am a little bit right now, but not really. So I was really getting better. And bug, sorry guys. The treatment I had, the spray treatment I had to endure from Sprouts was the worst, the absolute worst. I'm not even kidding when I say that, but yeah. Oy, oy. I mean, luckily we are all fine, then we just performed whatever, but 
it's tough to do. It's tough to do when you go from like plane to plane and yada 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 and blah, 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 whatever. But, but yeah, I'm glad I decided to like sit down and like make this video. And I'm sorry I, I ramble on you guys forever and ever and ever. I'm really sorry. I just have so much to say sometimes, but today my mind's just like going different directions and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. If if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what else I should do next for my channel. I'm open to any ideas, criticism, whatever, whatever. My social medias will be linked in the description below. And I'll link Deke Sharon's Instagram and Twitter. As I believe that is all he has, as far as I know. And that stuff. Oh, bug again, huh? And yeah, like I said, there will be a part two to this video that will come out not next Wednesday because I will be in Pasadena for a choral festival thing. I won't have time to film and all that stuff and unless I do it like on Tuesday, but that would be even more stressful. But yeah, so I will, so that will be out soon and yeah, love you guys. Hope you have a great day, awesome week and I will see you on Wednesday, March, I'm almost 14th. I will see you next Wednesday on March 21st. Yeah. That's it. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. And remember, be humble.